Many times you have seen a certain part of the newspaper highlighted just like here. And many times you may have seen a specific place in a paragraph being zoomed in this way. Today we are going to learn how to create these two effects. Take the rectangle tool first and select the place you want to highlight. I am highlighting these articles. I will change the color of the selected place. You can change the color as you wish and increase the opacity to 80%. I have made the opacity 80% here. Then go straight to the Bland Mood option. Then I will multiply the Blend Mode. See Effective sits perfectly with the text. Then I will come to the Effect box and search for Crop Effects and leave it in the text above. When it comes to effect control, we need to find the crop and animate it. We will turn on rights watch here. All we have to do here is take two keyframes and make the initial keyframe 100%. And at the end of the keyframe I will take the zero. And we will make ease out and ease in here so that it looks more beautiful and works much smoother. Here we learned our first highlight effect. We have now come to give a second effect. I will increase the scale of video footage to 80%. Then I will take a color map. You can take it if you want, but I have taken it to enhance the beauty. Lear should be left on top of the video footage. And I will take a duplicate layer of the video footage that we have. And I will come to the effect control box and do a crop search and leave it on top of the duplicate layer. Then come to effect control and select crop then you will see four lines around the video. These lines will be cropped where we want to zoom. After that I will go back to motion. I have to turn on the clock of position and scale. Remember that keyframe should be at the beginning of everything. Then we will take the keyframe 15 times on the right side and turn the key on. Increase the scale so that we can zoom in as we wish and determine the position with the position we want to place. I will turn two keys on both sides in front of the last one and I will turn two keys on the last one too. And I will make the scale 80% again as before. You can see the paragraph has been zoomed in here. And I will come to the effect box, search for drop shadow and leave it on top of the layer. Then come the effect control and go to drop shadow and increase the shadow and you can increase it as you wish. 